Lisa Gerhardt is with us, the president of Coca-Cola South Africa. Do you invest in shares much? <laughs> yeah, no, not a whole lot other than Coca-Cola stock. <laughs> yeah, well, Warren Buffett's in Coca-Cola <laughs> stock, right, so that's right. you're certainly in the right place. I, I want to start off with something just, just a little, um, I often wondered what people in your business think when you hear that Steve Jobs uh, said to John Scully years ago, do you want to keep selling sugar water or do you want to change the world? Now, by his definition, uh, you sell sugar water. How, how, do you, how do you react to those kind of, um, uh, or to, the, to, to that question if, if someone had asked you it? If someone had asked me it, I think um, the way I respond to it is uh, we do sell sugar water, so to speak, but we are changing the world. I think um, probably anyone that is familiar with the kind of commitments the company makes globally, being that we're one of the few brands, probably one of the only brands that are actually in every country in the world, um, locally produced, locally supporting lots of jobs, um, et cetera, that, and, and the role that we play, obviously, in corporate responsibility, they would say, we definitely are changing the world. That's what I would, I would probably respond to that. You could have saved a lot of people a lot of trouble if you <laughs> coached John Scully <laughs> on that one. Huh? Yeah. Uh, it, it is an interesting um, business because most people know Coca-Cola for Coca-Cola, for right. Coke, the, 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 sure. the drink we all enjoy, but clearly you, you've got many more brands than that. Absolutely. Um, we have tons of brands in every category. I mean, we specialize, obviously, in non-alcoholic, ready-to-drink, and we really try to deliver great brands that any consumer would need, you know, whether it's in waters, teas, juices, soft drinks, um, coffees. So we are in just about everything around the world that you can imagine. And Africa is a growth area for you? Yes, Africa is a big growth market for us. We've been on the continent first. We've been here uh, 85 years, starting in South Africa, actually this year is our 85th birthday in South Africa, and we've been in the continent for a long, long time and in a company that has always stayed. It is, it is in, uh, interesting to be or so closely related with South Africa because one of our great companies, SAB Miller, yeah. uh, a big part of its uh, profit flow, certainly for many years, was ABI, your partner. As how, it still is. How does that relationship work? Well, um, the Coca-Cola system is a franchise bottling system. Right, so if you think about the great franchise systems in the world, of McDonald's, Coca-Cola is certainly one of the greatest. So everywhere around the world, um, we have franchise bottling partners. In South Africa, we have four. Um, ABI, obviously being a long-standing bottling partner with the Coca-Cola company, and uh, therefore SAB Miller, as they are in other countries with us as a franchise partner. And How do you get one of those? Someone, uh, Lindsay and I were talking earlier. And he, <laughs> I said to him, well, a KFC is probably the best franchise. He said, no, Coca-Cola. Yeah, Coca-Cola, franchise system-wide. Um, how do you get a franchise? If you, if you yeah. let's say you're sitting somewhere on the it's continent watching this now and thinking, oh, I want some of that, how? Well, it would be difficult now because we're actually already in every country with our franchise partners and have been for a long time. So obviously um, we get calls and you meet partners, and, um, but you, it, it obviously needs to be, most of these are long-standing mm -hmm. relationships. A lot of times it's bottling partners that are with us in more than one country. Uh, so you would have the Femses of the world, the SAB Millers, um, you know, Hellenic. So a lot of the bottling partners have been with us a long time. And we have great family par bottling partners that were our original ones, like Coca-Cola Fortune here in South Africa, Peninsula Beverages in the Cape. Uh, and we keep our family very tight, and they've been here from the beginning. Uh, just to close off with, the South African market yeah. uh, is one of the top ten in the world. It's not the first time I've seen this. I think the, yes. the previous CEO came from Zambia and, and worked in South Africa as well. So there is a very close relationship, mm -hmm. but how can a country with less than half a percent of global GDP be one of your top, top ten markets? Well, we have a lot of brand love here uh, and a lot of brand affinity with the, with the consumers in the South African base. We've been here 85 years. So when you look at um, the beverage of choice, we are, we are top. Um, our entire portfolio is top. Um, we, so it doesn't actually, you can become um, very big, very quick. We have a lot of, per, we call it per capita uh, drinkers. Then some of the emerging markets, uh, uh, China as an example, where we're, you know, uh, some of the countries in Africa where we haven't been as long with consumers. So having been here 85 years, having mm. been a brand that's consumed more than any other non-alcoholic beverage, um, our beverages, it's, it's, it's quite large. It can be large. Almost a sole supplier, but not, <laughs> not quite. Thank you for coming through to our studio Absolutely. today. Um, Therese Gerhardt, the president of Coca-Cola Southern Africa.